Okay, so we're going to be making yam bread, and this is a recipe I saw online, and it's actually a recipe for sweet potato bread, but um, I'm going to be making yam bread, and it's interesting because yams actually are um, somewhat confused with sweet potatoes very often, and so yeah, these are yams, or at least I'm pretty sure that's what they're called, and so they're good. They have a lot of vitamin A and other vitamins in them. And I've cooked these so they're ready. And I'll be mashing them and taking off their skin. Um, even though the skin provides a lot of minerals and vitamins, for this recipe we'll be taking off the skin. And in place of the all-purpose flour, um, I'm going to be putting a few other things. So I'm putting one-third cup of oats and two-thirds cup of whole wheat flour and the rest is going to be the one-half cup of the all-purpose flour. As you can see in this recipe, it's one and a half cup. Okay, so I'm going to be using this Himalayan pink salt because <clears throat> it actually has added um, minerals or whatever, so I'm going to be putting that in. It's a one teaspoon salt, so I've actually already put that in. This is a grinder type of salt, and I don't know, it's kind of pretty, right? So anyways, yeah, I put that in, and then there's going to be um, one teaspoon of the baking soda, so I have that right here, and then we're going to be putting in baking powder, one half teaspoon. Okay, so this is one half teaspoon of the baking powder. Okay, and then this is a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And for the cinnamon, this is a special order cinnamon. I think my dad got it online. It's the um, Scion cinnamon, or well, you can look that up if you're interested. And I guess it's organic. So yeah, this is a healthy type of cinnamon. So. You might want to look that up, see if that's something you want. I don't know if you're interested. And um, then we're going to be putting a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay, so half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay, so, okay, so now I've added in the yams and I have mashed them up. And so what I'm going to do is, um, this is about one and a half cups of... Um, yams, and before I added them in, I s took off the skin so that um, it's easier to mix or whatever. That's the normal way to do it. So then the recipe calls for uh, about a cup of sugar. I'm going to be using uh, light agave nectar. I'm going to put about um, one fourth cup of it, and then I'm going to put one fourth cup of some brown sugar that I have. Alright, so now I've added in uh, two eggs and I'm going to be adding in um, one half cup olive oil. Well, you could really use um, probably any other oil, canola oil, coconut oil. Coconut oil you'd have to melt to room temperature but you could use that, or you could just use butter. So, okay, so most of this is already made, and I added a teaspoon of vanilla. And so, the last part, um, the last ingredient pretty much, is a half a cup of nuts. And the recipe called for. Um, a certain kind, but I'm going to be putting in what I have at home already instead of rushing out to the store. It was actually pecans, that's what it had called for. So I'm going to be using uh, these sunflower nuts and I'll put a half a cup. Okay, so I added the half a cup of the sunflower nuts and then I'm going to go ahead and mix it in. Alright, well, since the recipe, it actually called for a half a cup of whole milk, but I don't have no milk in my refrigerator right now, so basically what I ended up doing is um, I had added 
instead of one cup of the yams, I put about a cup and a half of the yams and so that makes it moist but then because it's thicker I went ahead and I put in uh, three and a half tablespoons of water to make it a certain consistency and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grease a pan and then I'm gonna put this in and for this recipe it says to put it in the oven for 350 Fahrenheit for 55 to 60 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I hope that if you enjoy this recipe you um, you can just go ahead and leave me a comment or maybe tweet me a picture of the um, bread if you make it and I'll have my so this is a picture of the uh, finished product and I've already cut a slice and ate it and it's pretty moist. It's uh, not super sweet but I guess I pretty much intended it for it to be. It's sweet enough for me. It's more of a snack type of bread and um, yeah what I was gonna say is if you want to tweet me I'll have my Twitter handle in the uh, comments uh, section and I hope you enjoy this recipe. Alright, have a great day!